In this video, we're going to discuss how to access a student's math assignment through GoMath or the platform they use is called Think Central. So if I'm in kindergarten through fifth grade, this is how I'd access any math assignments my teacher would make in GoMath. So the easiest way probably is to log into Clever in our student account. Most of you are probably very familiar with Clever, but it's the, it's the portal that houses all our um, online curriculum. And so I'm looking for Think Central because this is my math curriculum and it's right here. So once I click on Think Central, it will take me to the student dashboard. And so on the dashboard, it keeps it pretty simple. There are three items there. One's called Things to Do, My Library, and My Scores. And for this video, we're going to focus on Things to Do because this is where all the assignments that my teacher might make will be housed right here. So if I click on Things to Do, it will take me to the assignments page and it show me any assignments that have been made that I haven't completed yet. Um, and once I find out which one I want to do, I'm going to click on that. And then I'll do it one more time. Make sure that's the assignment we want to do. And then the first thing you'll see is an instructions page. This will just help you navigate through the assignment. It will tell you that you can go forwards and backwards on the questions. If I want to review a question or if I want to move forward and do a different question first. It also gives you the option if it's a lengthy assignment to save it and come back to it at a different time to complete the assignment. Um, but once I'm all finished, then there's a button that will say turn it in and this will send my uh, answers to my teacher and that way they'll know that I've completed the assignment. And so when I'm ready to begin, I'm going to hit go to activity. And what you'll see are the questions that show up. This one, you can see we started it already and question one has already been done. That one's completed. So I'm going to go to the next one and I can see oh, that one's done as well. So I'm going to go and keep going scrolling through. So now I'm picking up where I left off at question number three. And so what's nice about this page is in some of them, you'll get to view an example. So if you're not sure what to do on this question, I can see an example of what it looks like and there it shows me how to solve it. And then once I see that, you're encouraged to try another just to make sure you understand what's going on. And so if I do that, I can check my answer awesome. and see that we got it right. So well, let's move to the next question. And so as we move through these, you can see sometimes our help changes. So we can still see an example, but now I can also go to the textbook and see what does the lesson look like that these questions are coming from. And so I can scroll right to that lesson and, and view some different examples to help my understanding. And then at the bottom, you can also see those two buttons that say, if I want to finish this later, I'm going to hit save and close. Or if I'm ready to turn it in, I'll click this button, turn it in. This will be an option once you finish all the questions, okay? Or at least attempted all the questions. Right now, I haven't done that, so that is not an option for me. All I can do is save and close it, okay? So that's hopefully some help on how to navigate through the student assignments in Think Central, which is your Go Math classes.